So Alex Pahaya went fucking nuclear on Anthony Smith on his YouTube channel. Just completely going off on Anthony Smith, calling him a washed up vet, doesn't achieved anything essentially. That just is making noise and saying his name to stay relevant, just all this stuff. I've never seen Alex Pahaya this mad. Like even when Pahaya was beefing with well, not even beefing with Adesanya. He never talked shit to Adesanya. And we all know about him, his and Adesanya's rivalry. But, like, he, he went completely fucking in on Anthony Smith on his YouTube channel. Uh, it's just saying, fucking, just everything he could do to shit, shit on Anthony Smith. He even said Anthony Smith is only the main event of a pay-per-view because of John Jones. Like, and like every thing he said in that seemed like an insult towards Anthony Smith. Uh, like he just went off on Anthony Smith pretty much. Said he's thirty-five. He's not going to achieve anything else much. There's not much left for him to achieve. He should stick to commentating pretty much. He kept kept mentioning how he's a commentator, not a fighter. That's what he kept getting at. Uh, and the the. The thing about all of this is with Alex Pahaya going off on Anthony Smith this heavy, Anthony Smith didn't even say anything wrong. Like, like don't get me wrong, Anthony Smith can be very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Anthony Smith can be at times very, uh, not arrogant, but just disrespectful, I guess you could say, towards fighters when he's giving his analytical takes. But honestly, he didn't actually say anything bad about Alex Pahaya, so I'm just, that's why I'm really surprised Alec, Alex is so mad about this. Maybe there was a mistranslation or something. But I went, went back and watched Anthony Smith's post-fight, pre-fight interview where he got asked about Pereira, Pahaya, sorry. And all he said about Politan was uh, he looked great in that yarn fight. His cardio was really good. Like, it exceeded expectations, especially at altitude. Uh, said he's going to... Just all he really said about Alex was that Alex isn't that big compared to other light heavyweights. That he's not the monster he was at middleweight. And I guess I guess Poetan took that the wrong way because he literally just shat completely on Anthony Smith's career. Said, you know, he's fighters that haven't achieved anything will always talk like this, and then said, and you know, I don't like to badmouth people, and then he said, actually, wait, no, I'm not badmouthing, because I'm telling the truth. He's like, fucking hell, Pahaya. Like, Jesus, this is, I've never seen him talk so much trash before. Like, like yeah, I guess technically he's, he's, he's not wrong, he's telling the truth, you know, like, he has, a, he has achieved more than Anthony Smith has, you know, he was a UFC champion, Anthony Smith wasn't, Fuck me, he went completely in on Anthony Smith, just savagely. I don't don't know what Anthony Smith did for him to uh, have this kind of reaction. It seems so, like, out of the blue. So maybe this was building up for a while. Uh, between, maybe Alex, Alex Bahay has just been holding all this hate in. That he oh he also shat on Anthony Smith for missing weight when he was the backup for Jamal Hill versus Glover Sixera, saying how he doesn't take it seriously. You can tell he doesn't take his career seriously and that he's a commentator because he missed weight for the backup. It's like fuck me, like Is there anything else you're gonna shit on him? I'm surprised Alex Pahaya didn't shit on him for fucking not beating that home invader that fucking robbed his house. He, like, I'm surprised he didn't just go in on that as well while he was at it. He's like, you can't even fucking defend your house from a fucking 70 kilo crackhead. Like, honestly, I'm surprised that Alex Pahaya didn't go in on that too. It was like he was, com he was completely shitting on every co accomplishment and accolade that Anthony Smith has ever done in his life. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Alex Pahaya mentioned fucking Anthony Smith losing some, like, little league game when he was, like, fucking 12. By the way, he was going. Fucking. Fuck it. 
Like, honestly, he shut on every little thing you can think of. I'm, like, re-going through the video now. Him, the guy's coming off two losses. And he's trying to say the fight was a draw. What are you going to do with your... He was pretty... Well, pretty much all he said, the only good thing going for Anthony Smith is that he has a job. Like, that was literally what he said. He just... He, like, he said that word. He said, well, at least the guy's got a job. It's like, fucking hell. Like, uh, like... That, that is the most, like, the most backhanded, like, fucking compliment ever. It's like, well, you know, like, Alex Pay pretty much said, you know, he's got, he's not really got a legacy. He's not really a great fighter. He's never going to be champion, but hey, at least he's got a job. Like, that's essentially what he said. It's like, it's Alex Pay just ended this man's whole career. For no reason to, like, honestly, Anthony Smith was very complimentary of him, so I don't know what fucking created this outburst, but, yeah, Anthony Smith better watch out. We know how fucking Pahaya takes these fucking rivalries. Alex is the type of guy to lose two fights in a row so he can fucking get a matchup with Anthony Smith. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was just a weird beef, but, I guess we'll see what comes of it. I don't know if Anthony Smith has responded to the video or not, but... Yeah. Fucking hell. Bahia just went nuclear on him. Like, poor Anthony Smith. Like, Anthony Smith, you know, he does say some delusional things at times. Like, you know, on paper, I beat Francis Nugano. Like, you know, he on paper, I beat Nugano and Tyson... F I, on paper, I beat Tyson Fury in a boxing match. Like, he would say something, like, crazy like that, but this is, like, the one time he... He was very respectful, didn't go, like, talking about how he would beat Alex Pahaya on paper or anything crazy like that. Like, you know. Like, he was actually very respectful, talked very kindly about Pahaya's skill set, but... I don't know, fucking some, something got... I think something got fucking mistranslated, because Alex Pahaya was fucking pissed. Like, he went for the fucking jugular against fucking Anthony Smith, you know, but... Hey, well, I guess, I just, Alex Bahia needed someone else to hate since him and uh, Adesanya seemed to be pretty, on pretty good terms. He needed a new rival. And Anthony Smith is the unfortunate man who now has to deal with fucking Alex Pereira, Alex Bahia, sorry, being his arch nemesis. But uh, yeah, I guess that wraps up that. So yeah, thanks for watching. I thought I'd just break down this little situation because I find it pretty funny. Out of all the people, Alex Bahia just, just hates Anthony Smith and it's like so clear. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Dana White Contender Series tomorrow. Should be a good one.